exponentials are going to make the exponents the u value. What are you doing? Well, well, we this. She doesn't have the notes. Go dig out a blank one. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could just get a notebook paper and take the notes on notebook paper no. like you used to have to do before I used those guided notes. It wasn't my side. No idea. <laughs> Wait, how do you know? It's a click of a button. No really? But then you're not counting how many units. I learned by doing, not by reading. So, just a review. The integral of e to the x dx is e to the x plus c. Now, as these get more complicated, go back and think about derivatives. The derivative of e to the u was e to the u dx. So we're going to play that in reverse. So the u value becomes the 5x. The du becomes what? What do I have here that I don't have there? So it becomes one fifth du equals dx. Before you integrate, you rewrite in terms of your new variable. So we get one fifth e to the u du. So we just said in the previous slide the antiderivative of e to the x dx is e to the x. C. Antiderivative of e to the u du will be e to the u plus c. So tags along is our constant out in front. Change that u back to the x. And you get one fifth e to the 5x plus c. For now. <laughs> Hasn't even taken it. Haven't started that. We've won, so you missed like five days. Oh, I don't think so. She missed two. Idiot. Today is Mara. So I'll grade them on Friday and then service day. I'm sorry. So we all get them on next Monday? Yeah. Uh, on Friday. There's not much I can do. I don't like to start them without everybody having taken it. Okay. The U value is going to be what? What's the rule? The U should be the The U should be the exponent. So U will be D U will be So this transforms to e to the u du, which becomes e to the u plus c, which becomes e to the sine theta plus c. Let's make sure I'm never in this. Make sure she's the only thing I need. <laughs> I'm selling pictures. He just said I'm selling pictures of Mrs. McBride. At least she knows how it feels to be assaulted. Do you have any pictures of her? Yes, you saw her photo. Okay, you, you, oh my god, stop. <laughs> you are, you're going to tell me what the U value is for this problem. Are you denying it, Mr. Clinton? I have not heard a denial yet. D-U becomes what? 
Okay. Do we see that in our problem? Or what are we yeah. have that isn't and there, etc.? So what should we do? Put it over And then if you rewrite that x to the negative one half, you see that it's one over x underneath the radical the x. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> Don't take your pictures. So you get e to the u over nothing now, because that 1 over square root of x, the x goes to the du, and the 2 comes out in front. So you get 2e to the u plus c, which becomes 2e to the square root x plus c. For the box. I know, but that way Josh knows I'm done writing. Okay? Let's look at the Ellen's. I'd rather not. Yeah. So, looking at this, what does my U need to become? X. No. Ln, the u needs to become the ln, because what's the derivative of the natural log? Oh, so that'll get rid of the x in the denominator. <coughs> you can bring out the one-third, right, and rewrite that as ln x over x. Why did it bring this out? So now, if you make your u value, lnx, your du becomes 1 over x, the x. I don't even have an extra coefficient on this one. So this becomes 1 third, the integral of u, du. What's the antiderivative of u? Thank you. So it becomes 1 third times one half u squared plus c. So you get one sixth the natural log of x squared plus c. Say that I'm well, if there's an ally, all this is going to you. Yeah, it's kind of like a square root. What if you have an ally and a square root? Am I going to flip the page and show you that? Yeah. You flip the page, this one's a little gross. Bless you. So, thoughts. U equals X. Does that help you though? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. You equals e to the x. I'm also guessing. It's going to actually be the denominator. Think about why. What's the derivative of that going to become? Oh, so that'll accommodate the numerator. That takes care of the denominator. And you get 1 over u, the u. Which is relatively simple because the antiderivative of 1 over u to u is. Natural log of u Wait. is the x plus one. Natural log of d dx plus one. Oh, they can't change that. No. Wait, wait, wait. 
So we're going to ask you multiplication terms to addition, not addition. Uh, so does addition do something to another? Yeah. Yeah. I've got to say, wait a second. I've got to check what I have in the box. Like, two, six months ago. <laughs> it's your box, yeah. Dang. All right. Do not. I'm going to print it out when I first does and just start slapping on walls. I'm going to go in the store tomorrow. Right. Of course, well, I would do that if I could get our on April Fool's Day. That's the day you need to do it. Oh, we already have some planned. Yeah, I'm still on board. To me? I don't actually remember For like, through. for the school. Well, let's see. Well, oh, you're in school. Oh, no. Okay. How do you feel about a cockroach in your coffee? I would cry. <laughs> that I wasn't the plan. Like, okay. Like, okay. Like, okay. Like, okay. Joyce, I'm going to describe the use of one of the examples. Five. Five to the two X. What do we think my U becomes? Two X. What D U? Do I have a two? No, I'm not saying crack. I like how every single one of these is like, do I have that? No, this is a special case. Is there even a no? Yeah, the last one didn't have a coefficient. Yes. I'm not saying the last one didn't have a coefficient. I'm saying the last one was a weird one. Mm -hmm. Always be spiky pink. Anybody remember the antiderivative of fat U? 1 over no. ln 5 times u prime. Am I right or am I right? You missed something. Ooh. 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 Plus C. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not u prime, it's u. Yeah. 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 I said five to you, but that was five to you, but it's close. Come on, it is a five to you. And then plug back in your U. Okay. Um, and then you plug back in your U. <laughs> love is a strong word. You and it's accurate. <laughs> I have to go to Mr. Benson with a lost my notebook. Okay, Chris. For <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> you guys on Instagram. What? what is my U value? Hi. 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 And she said, no, Maybe. this is a special case. Uh, <laughs> trying to catch it. What's my B U? Hi. B P. Do I have a five? No. I will on Thursday. Does anybody own a pie store that wants to give a discount for the couch pie because they're going to learn hot sales? It's like five. five, five, five. I guess it's okay. What, what do we need to do to, to the bounds? Plug them in. You would mess up all my other classes. So you won. You zero. You could fill, you bring them here and sell them. Oh my god, yeah, I'm a reseller guy. I'm a reseller guy. You buy for your pie in the So you to the one becomes what? I'm going to bring in a keto friendly pie. Also known as air. I'm going to bring in a pie. U to the zero, actually, there are keto friendly pies. U to the zero becomes zero. So changing this, your new balance. Tofu is hard, right? Just tofu is made out of beans. We don't need tofu. So it goes U to the pi, E to the U, D U, with one over pi out in front. Yes. Tofu is like a like a not a uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a two magic people. So one pi. over pi, E to the U, from pi to zero, comes one over pi, E to the pi, minus one over pi, E to the zero. Anything to the zero power is one. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, we still have two more examples. I'm freaking out because she's writing great. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, what she happens is if I Box. broke that up? You know, I did e to the pi over pi minus 1 over pi, and then I did e minus 1 over pi. That's the right answer. The, yeah, can you manipulate it to look like that? That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> what was your final answer? e to the pi minus 1 over pi. Hold on, hold on, hold on. e to the fat minus 1 over pi. Oh, that's yeah, fine. you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking these questions? Did she really throw something to my face? No. <laughs> well, she's like, I like my dog. Yesterday I held the tree in my hand and went like this. Three, two, one. Go. Don't. Go. Boom. Down the hallway. <laughs> All right. What is my U? L and T. D U becomes one over one over T D T. My new bounds. U to the D U to the one. Natural log of E is one. Natural log of one is zero. Oh, good job. Those are like things people forget. I learned about the head. Zero to one of u du equals. Well, I'm not there. Yet. Those are going to have to slow down. Do we have to know any other lns in those? Because I think that's just the only ones I know. U squared over two. I mean, and I know. They're very much the only ones you can know. Ln zero. Ln zero. Ln zero undefined. So I know three. Oh. Oh wait. Yeah. Yeah. Ln zero <laughs> you could do what you did when I was at, so just start writing on the whiteboard now for no reason. Okay. Like, I, I did write on the whiteboard. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's not a question I've ever useless. seen in my entire life. Wow. I think you did a 20 minute problem on Thanks, the whiteboard in my last I was like, thank you. I've only missed, I can see that. I've only missed two days. One day, no one was here. The other day, Liz, you didn't do anything. So my, the, my okay. favorite was my whiteboard. You we had a free day. is what? X squared plus one. D U. Two X D U S. What's extra? Two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my ribs. Change your pounds. like the only non-extra. <laughs> Square plus one. Get, change bounds, change your use. I guarantee I'm going to forget the